Welcome to the NFL Week 16 Sunday Slate Breakdown here with lineups. I'm your host, Jacob Wayne, joined as always by Cody Malstrom and Will Schwartz. Let's move on to the Packers at the Panthers. Schwartz is our Panthers expert on this show, writing about them seemingly every week in those matchup previews. They got the win last week over the Falcons as three-point underdogs. They find themselves as home underdogs once again against a Packers team that's suddenly reeling after losses to the Giants and Bucks. Packers are still five point favorites in this one, which just feels hefty to me, but tough for me to pin down. Schwartz, I'll bring you in now. How are you feeling about this game and any official bets for you here? First of all, it's not seemingly every week that I'm covering the Panthers. It's either five of their last six games or six of their last seven. So I'm one of the four or five people who's been dialed into every Panthers game the last couple months. And I'm not a hundred percent sure that any of those four or five people are part of the Panthers organization. Anyways, <laughs> I'm going to say something I have not said since the Stanley Cup Finals, and I said it erroneously then, and I hope it's not erroneous now. I am backing Panther. We are going to bet the Panthers' side of the spread. They should not be getting more than a field goal against this Packers team. Their defense has improved in recent weeks after taking a dip. Uh, Now that J.C. Horn is back, the dude's phenomenal. I wish he had more help, but we've talked about Ivero a million times. I've written about him a million times at this point. And by the way, I do have this preview uh, once again, if anyone wants to go check that out. But I actually had interesting things to say since uh, both of these teams had tremendously important results last week. But Packers are very injured at wide receiver with Horn, uh, you know, covering up whoever is active. There's going to be really sparing options of uncovered guys uh, for Jordan Love. Panthers like to run the football up the middle this week. They like they they do it whether or not it's the right move. They're, they, Wayne, I think, is the one who said it seems like the Panthers are trying to run the clock out on the season. But this week, it actually does call for running it up the middle. Uh, the Packers, uh, their run defense, it grades pretty poorly, uh, 26 by DVOA, and the better run defenders are on the edges. So slam that ball up the middle, Chuba Hubbard, Chuba Hubbard, I, I'm still not 100% clear on it, even though I cover them every week. Uh, is playing some pretty good football. He's getting his best volume ever, and he's doing okay stuff with it. He's been over 80-something yards the last few weeks, and we'll talk about that on the player props video uh, possibly. But he has a chance to be really productive, shorten this game, keep it close. Panthers' pass defense is probably their greatest strength, and the Packers are not the rushing offense they've been in the past 21st in DVOA. So I think this is a really good Panthers spot. I'm not going to take them outright, but... You really want to invest in this current iteration of the Packers on the road? I can't imagine there's a lot of yeses, but if there are, I'd love to see them in the comments. Love the analysis, Schwartz. Uh, I haven't quite gotten there with the Panthers just because it, it just it feels so gross, which I'm sure you've experienced. Um, it's Panthers are past here. The Panthers' defense is playing much better. They're seventh in defensive EPA since J.C. Horn returned in Week 13. Packers over the same stretch are 30th and. You touched on Schwartz. They are very banged up at the skill positions. Looking like Christian Watson and Jane Reed might be out. And now you're going against that Panthers improving pass defense on the road. Tough one here. Um, Panthers do have a chance to make history, though, as we get into the final stretch of the season. No team since at least 1991 has gone an entire season without leading in the fourth quarter. Uh, the Panthers have not led in the fourth quarter at any time this season. Their two wins have come at the buzzer when they were trailing on game-winning field goals. So, going to be interesting to see if that uh, maintains throughout the year. But, yeah, looking at the Panthers or pass for me. Cody, anything for you on this one? No. Uh, immediate pass. The The current state of the Packers, the, it's shockingly bad. I still can't believe what I saw against Tampa Bay, especially when still had playoff hopes. Now it's um, life support. It's, but at the same time, the Panthers, I mean, every single time I have just at least minimal expectations for them, they still somehow underperform. And then, and then they just, the, 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 we'll get, we'll get to the Falcons later. I'll save that rant for later. Um, it's, I'm still pissed at them. Fire Arthur Smith. Um, but yeah, this, this, this is an immediate pass. I have no idea. I have no read on any of this. The, the lone bright spot of the Panthers uh, has been their past coverage. And they are going against a Jordan Love who has drastically improved from before, but now he's looking like his old self, which is kind of really funny to say in a very young career. Um, against a pretty good pass catching unit, I, I, I kind of lean towards the under. I'm going to take a harder look at that total. The under is definitely probably the play for me, but as of right now, this is a pass. I do want to say though, like on the Jordan Love front, um, I, I'm still, I'm not saying I'm a believer long term, like I'm buying stock long term, but. 
I'm not. I'm very hesitant to blame him for the offensive struggles lately because they're so banged up right now at the skill groups, um, and they just don't really have consistent pass catchers for him right now. So tough for me to blame him entirely, but I don't expect him to have a huge game on the road against this pa- Panthers pass defense. So yeah, I think we're all kind of in agreement there. Do love the spot for Chuba Hubbard. We'll be talking about him on the player props show. That'll do it for us. Should be another fun week of games here in Week 16, getting close to the end of the season, but. Don't worry, we're going to have you guys covered with content throughout the rest of the year and the playoffs. So a lot of fun games to look forward to in that sense. Uh, Should be another great week here. Check out the rest of our schedule for video content. We'll have game previews and player props videos for all the Christmas games as well. Huge Ravens Niners game in that group. So can't wait to talk about that one. And thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next video.